Hello and welcome back. And if you're new, thank you for checking out my channel. Please feel free to stay and hang out with me. And if you like my content, of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I hope you're having an awesome day. I know I kind of am today. Today is a good day. I don't know why, but it is a good day. We are back with another Not So Berry Challenge episode. So in the last episode, a lot has happened. But before we get into it, I think we should remind ourselves of the rules for this generation. We haven't really read through them in a long, long time. So, Generation Rose. You had everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships, as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in The Sims 4, you would have it. Thankfully, we do have the lifestyle. You have absolutely no parental instincts whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. So that's the description for Generation Rose. The traits that Omaira has are hot-headed, snub and romantic. And the clear rules for the Generation Rose are Have only one child. Done. Master the politician career and complete serial romantic aspiration. Definitely not done yet, not even close. Master charisma skill, I think we're on a pretty good way. Path? Wait. Leave someone at the altar? Check. And get married for the first time as an elder. That is going to be a problem, because that means we're gonna have to drag Omaira with Generation Yellow again. And I think this is the only generation or yellow is the last generation where the previous generations kind of intertwine. Is that the right word? I hope it is. But yeah, anyways, now that we've reminded ourselves of the rules, let's head into the game. Oh no, before that, I wanted to do one more thing, and it is to give Omaira a fame point, and it is going to be the noticeable point. There's just something about Omaira that makes her stand out from the crowd and makes other sims take notice. By honing this aspect of her personality, there's a chance that any single skill or career-based action from here on out may catch the public's attention, giving Omaira a extra boost of fame. This is exactly what we want to do. Okay, in the last episode, Omaira finally, well, finally, kind of, yeah, finally, left Trace at the altar, and I say finally because we can finally, too many finalies, explore the serial romantic aspiration. I didn't want to villainize too much Omaira and have her really really cheat on Travis, so I've decided to wait with it for a bit, but now we can fully explore it, and Omaira can just live her life. And one sad thing that happened in the last part is that Trace sadly passed away. And as we can see, Omaira doesn't really care about it, but I'm heartbroken for the poor Nora. She just lost her dad. And she lives with her mother who doesn't really take that much care of her. The only one who takes care of her is her grandmother Melissa. And what's sadly going to probably happen in this episode is Mr. Peter... The Generation 1 father is going to leave us as well. Multiple deaths in two episodes, I am not really thrilled about it. And we're gonna have some very, very sad scenes. But anyways, um, let's take care of Omaira's needs. So let's see, she could grab a serving. Oh my god, what is broken? The TV? Oh no. The speaker, let me replace this. I don't really think that Omaira would repair it. Well, maybe Peter. But then again, Malisa is pretty good at handing a skill, I think. Didn't I turn off the NAP here as well? I didn't. Okay, let's do that and hope that it doesn't come back. Uh, I have to see if I have to disable it here as well. Instant repel. No, we don't have the flirting turned on. Good. I mean, it's fine for Omaira to flirt, but the other two, not so much. 
who is calling us Jagger Scott, an acquaintance who's telling me how much they dislike you. Try being a little nicer, becoming disliked is a slippery, I didn't see what the last word was. Jagger has been hating on us ever since Omaira was a teenager. Oh my god, stop breaking everything. Peter, could you please help us out? I don't even care. I'm not giving out more money. Mera, you could maybe work on that sadness by giving yourself a pep talk. And we can see that Melissa is really angry. She had... Oh, because of fear of unfulfilled dreams. Every single one of my sims has it. I'm just not really used to completing whims. I'm not sure why. They're just not that interesting. I rather liked wishes in The Sims 2. Uh, Omaira, why did you stop? No, 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 don't interact with Nora. You're not allowed to do that. Give yourself a pep talk. Let's get you out of that sad mood. And do, did you do everything for your work? You did. Let's hope we get a promotion tomorrow. Now that Omaira is flirty, I feel like what we definitely could do is send a flirty text to Jet. We haven't talked to him in a long time. And kind of see how he is going to react. And we did suspect, or I did suspect, that he was kind of stalkerish, but we didn't see him. So maybe I was wrong. I was kind of hoping that, oh, okay. I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. I think we should do it. We are here. Uh, where is that? Where is this? Wait, what happened? Come back. Oh my god, uh, thank you for glitching out, uh, let me invite him over. We could have had a date and then the game ruined it. Who is this sim? She looks really cool. Sydney Volko. Volko, Volko. Who is Volko? Oh, and please change out of your work attire, Omaira. Change outfit. Excuse me, uh, where is Jet? Where is Jet? Kiyoshi! Wait, I like Kiyoshi. Let's introduce ourselves to Kiyoshi. What interaction should I do? Which is going to bring me cheerful interaction? I'm not gonna start to... Even though... Wait, 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 wait. Omaira is flirty, so maybe we should go for a flirty introduction. Like, we'll just go along with her mood. I really hope the jet isn't here so he sees that. Is he going to? Okay, I think he likes it. Oh, I'm so sad that I didn't see him sooner. So let's try to get to know Kiyoshi. Oh, let's first secure his vote. Compliment his appearance. Maybe we can also brighten his day. I mean, it's always the same interaction, isn't it? But I want to know a bit more about him. Thanks to a strong command of the issues, a confident demeanor, and maybe just a few empty promises, Omaira successfully secured Kiyoshi's vote. Yes. I want to find everything out about Kiyoshi. His traits. Does he have any children? Does Is he single? He's romantic. Okay. Oh, he is a parent. We have one child as well. I'm just checking out if Romeo is here, but he thankfully isn't. Yes, I'm gonna have Kiyoshi and Omaira dance together. They've just met and they... Okay, wh why is, is the game resetting itself? Please, dance together. Well, not the game, but you know what I mean. Oh, and he's also self-assured. Okay, um, Omaira, you're kind of dancing like a mom that you are, but you're still a young adult. I thought she would be kind of maybe a tiny bit cooler. <laughs> but you go, girl. You're doing fine. Well, I'm sure she has to watch how she's dancing because she doesn't want any voters to see her in any inappropriate situations. Let's do some more discussing of interests and then they might just go somewhere on a walk. Okay, she definitely perceives Kiyoshi as attractive. So I think she would want some privacy with him. Maybe we should go on the upper floor and kind of check the chemistry between them. And see if anyone is going to make the first move. Can you both sit together here? Probably not. Are you going to join me? No? Of course not. Wait, no, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Let's go here together then. Where Omaira can do some more flirting. 
Listen, Omaira is definitely a pro at flirting, so when she wants to seduce some someone, I don't think she fails. Look, he is completely smitten by her. I mean, at the end of the day, they probably also had something to drink, so everything is quite easier. But I think it's time for them to have their kiss. Oh, oh okay. Uh, that was a bit sloppy from me but oh they've had their first kiss listen what you need to know about omaira is she is going to rush into many things when it comes to romance she's probably going to get into relationship fast and also break them up fast even though i don't think we should be breaking up relationships we need to have a strong relationship a romantic relationship with three sims at once okay and we need to kiss 10 sims. Why don't the sims before count? That's a bit disappointing, but what's new? Josiah Benali. Let's get to know him. Listen, the more people we know, the easier we are going to, going to have it. So let's cheerfully introduce ourselves to him and see how Omaira perceives him. Okay, she doesn't have a good impression of him. She doesn't even perceive him as anything. Okay. Oh, but who are you? She definitely seems like someone. Zoe, who Omaira could possibly befriend. So, hello, Zoe. Are you going to be our future best friend? The first impression isn't so good, but you know... We're all, we always like a good challenge, so if we can change our mind, we're definitely gonna do it. Because we don't have many female friends. Who we do have is our kind of sister, but not sister, Eliza. We definitely need more friends. Oh my god, and it's getting really, really late. When are we working in six hours? No, what am I doing? I didn't watch the time at all. Time to head home, Omaira. You can use the bathroom there. Celebrity level lost. How? No. Did we also lose the point? Well, probably. Oh, no. Why? I don't like this at all. It's not fair. I don't have time to make sure she does all of the celebrity stuff. I really don't. Oh, Melissa, could you please maybe fix this? Once Omara is done. Oh, my God. Melissa, chill. I don't want to lose you as well. Oh, what does Nora want? She wants to be friendly with Melissa. Oh, maybe you can calm your grandma a bit down. Maybe you can hug Melissa lovingly. Um, Omaira, please go and sleep. You work in the morning. You have no time to hang out with your daughter. We know what you would choose. You would always choose work before family. Sadly, but it is like that. Come on, give a little hug to your grandma. Oh, see, grandma is happier right away. For how many days is oh, for 22 hours more? Nora is sad. Wait, did I just now turn on the sounds from the game? I think I did. Wait, what? Yeah, I think they're just now turned on. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. Okay, um, yeah, listen, I'm new, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just learning. Nora, it's, well, it's really early, can, maybe we can simply imagine that you just woke up, and not that you've been awake the whole night. We're not going to tell anyone, we don't want any problems. Oh no, Peter is officially dying. Generation 1 father has passed away peter you were a great great father a loving husband and we had so much fun with you peter pumpkins has lived a long life but his time has finally come peter is dying of old age oh my god i didn't make myself smaller and with that we are left with the three generations in the household I think this is the last time that we will have three generations at one time under one roof. Goodbye, Peter.
we're gonna place him uh, i don't want to place him outside right now because we've got snow so we'll we'll just keep we'll just keep his memory i don't know maybe here for now the only thing i don't really like is that he's going to be haunting the house um grim why aren't you wasting your own electricity energy whatever i think it's time for you to go and reap some more people right well that's awkward i should actually retire melissa but i don't know how much money we are going to get then but some struggles in their lives would be kind of necessary because for now they're living a pretty pretty good life so maybe a bit less money wouldn't be that bad should we do it let's do it let's retire melissa um retire from being an extraterrestrial to the explorer are you sure melissa should retire yes please and thank you very much Omaira has about 30 minutes free time at lunch. How should she spend it? Go to the gym or read blogs for career advice? Uh, what is going on? We are going to read blogs for career advice. Oh, she has reached entrepreneur skill level 2. And we have performance gain medium. Omaira browses for good career advice and finds a few key insights from top consultants to improve work performance. Yes. Okay, but could you please uh, take care of Nora, give her a bubble bath? I'm sure she's gonna enjoy it. And for now, we can see that Melissa is definitely not that sad about her husband passing. I mean, that she is kind of subconsciously, but I think she is kind of pushing the emotions away. She's trying not to deal with it, which is understandable. It must be really, really hard. She had a long and happy life with her husband. Oh, but I what I want to do today is invite over our family members. Kind of catch up with, with them. I'm sure they're also sad about Peter passing. So I think the right thing to do is to invite them. Who is visiting? Oh, Kiyoshi came. We didn't even start the gathering and he is already here. It has to do something with the NIP because I noticed that the people have been just coming in and out as they please. Well, people, it seems. No, not really. Hmm, okay. I guess this is just a friendly house. Maybe we got some lot traits? No. Okay. Um, but what are you doing on Omaira's PC? I think Omaira is going to have to lock it once she comes home. I cannot do it now. Can I? I can. Okay. Computer security settings. Slow computer, computer for everyone but Omaira. You cannot touch it. Uh, thank you. Oh my god. Omaira got a promotion and I hate the outfit. Omaira has been promoted to public official. We've got 1,555 simoleons and new creator sim clothes. Um, well, thank you, but we're not going to be using them. Um, as a public official, securing the vote is more important than ever. Thankfully, you can make empty promises to pair with your pol policy promotion. It's a one to two punch of public service. I've changed her outfit. <laughs> Um, okay, let's head inside and then we're gonna invite over Eliza and Rowan. Oh, she's really tired and the needs aren't that great, great either. Then they can maybe hang out with Melissa. Uh, can we make it to the toilet before we fall asleep? I don't think she's gonna make it to bed even. Oh, Eliza is here and she's sad. Maybe they can try to console each other. No? Okay, maybe you can discuss mood. Oh, maybe we can give her residence keys. If anyone deserves it, it's definitely Eliza. Kiyoshi seems to have them already. And Rowan doesn't seem to bother about it. He is rather angry. Let's try to ask him for advice. Though I think he might scream at us. Hi, Rowan. How are you doing? I've noticed you're a bit tense, so can we help you out? Or can you help us out? That would be really nice. Oh, I know. He's still tense. Oh, give residence keys as well. You can visit us 
Anytime you please. There you go. I think these two are kind of more stressing each other out than helping each other. I mean, Roven, you're trying to be mischievous to the mischief queen. Uh, I don't get it. But okay, Malisa is getting really tired as well. I know we haven't hang out, hung out much with these two, but when she's tired, she has to go to sleepies. Ooh, do something romantic. We might just do that. Does it count if we send a flirty message on social bunny? Omaira, you don't have to laugh at my jokes. I can laugh for both of us. Um, okay. Messages. Your style is everything. Teach me your ways. Thank you, Chris. Oh, <laughs> why didn't... Did I get a minus? I don't get it. Let's send a flirty message to Jet. Did it count as something romantic? It didn't. Not sure why, but okay. And since your needs are fine, Omaira, I would like uh, for you to go to sleep because we do work in the morning. You need to be fully rested for that. Oh my god, Melissa got only 952 simoleons. It is going to be a really tight money situation, I think. Omaira needs to provide tough feedback to a co-worker. How should she give the notes? Pair with praise or straight and honest? I think Omaira is straight and honest. Omaira approached her co-worker and gave them very honest feedback. She also worked with her co-worker to create a plan to correct the problem. Her boss praised Omaira for working well with her teammates. Great Omaira. Oh, Winterfest is tomorrow. We are definitely gonna try to celebrate it. But that would be the next episode. Rowan... Hey, Melissa, I think I have a crush on Tina Tinker. Do you think it's worth a try? Oh, yes, go for it. Rowan is finally showing some interest in someone. Though I do have kind of other plans for him. And we might just see what these plans are in my next Create a Scene video. And Omaira finally came back from work. She doesn't seem too happy, does she? Anyways, this is where I'm going to end this part. Omaira has kind of turned a new leaf and we are definitely going to see more flirting, more romantic interests and hopefully more promotions. Thank you for watching this episode. If you liked it, of course, please don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comment section. Do check out my other playlist as well, the Werewolves Let's Play playlist. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.